guys and welcome back to my channel it has been quite a while since i last uploaded hopefully you guys are all staying safe i haven't been home as you can see in my last video i was in mexico for a couple months and had no internet so now that i finally am home i can make videos i plan to upload as frequent as i can and the first video that i wanted to put out uh coming back from my last morning routine if you haven't seen it i will link it down below but i i wanted to talk about something that not a lot of people talk about and that is alopecia i have suffered from alopecia since 2018 i want to say it's going on two years the first year that i ended up getting it uh, i was really stressed out i was dealing with a bunch of work stuff my dog got sick, had to take him to the hospital. He lost an eye at the time. My sister was doing a fashion show, so I was helping her out with that. So there's just like a lot of things that were going on and I ended up finding a bald spot. After the fashion show, crazy enough, I was coming home and I just kind of like ran my hands through my hair right here and a huge bald spot right behind my ear, like this big. And it was just skin. It was literally just skin and that freaked me out. I didn't see when it fell out. I didn't notice it falling out just because I have always had very long thick hair and my hair falls out pretty regularly, I would say. Uh, so I didn't really notice that my hair was falling out. I just noticed that there were, it was just bare skin. <laughs> I had no hair in that area uh, and it took a while to grow back I literally did everything I tried the castor oil I tried Rogaine Rogaine just burned my scalp it literally just burned my scalp and it was it just got so itchy so it didn't work for me so I ended up going to the doctor when I ended up seeing that bald spot and the doctor said that it was alopecia and it occurs to people who stress and I'm such a stressor <laughs> I stress about everything when I say everything I literally mean everything I stress about everything stress should be my middle name I stress about a lot of things in life and even if it's the mundane things in everyday life I stress out if I stress out if I'm being late I'm stressing out if I don't have time to get ready I stress out if I don't get things done I stress out if I don't finish my to-do list and I think through this experience it's taught me that it's stressing is such a, a killer a silent killer but let me move on to my second, my relapse. At that point, I didn't realize that stress was such a big component of alopecia. Or maybe I did realize, but I didn't pay attention or I didn't really care, if I'm being completely honest. Um, so then I would say last year, my hair grew back from here. It, it started going back when I, when I just kind of relaxed a little and just forgot about it and it was easy to forget just because I mean it was like back here and you know I could just put my hair in a ponytail or just put it down and no one will notice and no one did notice <laughs> it was like I think my family and my close friends were the only ones who knew that my hair had fallen out but then I want to say July of 2019 hit and um, I noticed I had a really small spot on the top of my head and it was kind of like damn my hair is having a relapse <laughs> and I didn't know exactly what was going on at the moment mentally I would say that caused the stress because like I said I don't need I'm so stressed all the time that I didn't know that I was stressed if that makes any sense so I was just kind of like, I thought I was going about my life normal. Why Why is it falling out again? And it, it was so small. It was literally like this small, like really small on the top of my head. And it freaked me out because it was at the top of my head. Like that is extremely noticeable in comparison to the one that was behind my ear. So I just kind of kept monitoring it and it kept getting bigger kept getting bigger I got my Brazilian blowout as you guys can see in that video I did have a bald spot going into the Brazilian blowout it was small um, and then it, it did get progressively bigger I don't think it was the Brazilian blowout that caused it but 
there was a lot of life changes that were occurring in my life at the moment so maybe i was getting stressed out again um and, and it caused it to to fall out i'm not exactly sure but this time it was really bad i will insert photos to show you guys how it looked right there um but it was really big <laughs> and at the top of my head to make matters worse so I was just kind of going through the motions like okay I literally don't have hair and you don't really realize how important hair is or at least I didn't realize how important my hair was to my identity until I lost it and I kept losing it I mean I was having balls of hair chunks filling my hands and my hairbrush and my bathroom every time I would shower it was insane it was crazy and it was at the top of my head so I was literally going nuts because everybody noticed everybody noticed that was around me um, there was a point where I would just wear buns you know I wouldn't hair wear my hair down just because you could see it wearing it like this you would be able to see it because I had such little hair just covering the top and I didn't want to take pictures I didn't want to go out I didn't want to socialize I didn't even want to go to work because I work with kids and the kids were 100% going to bully me and make fun of me for having a huge ball spot on the top of my head so uh, I was just kind of really self-conscious at the time and it only made matters worse because I was just stressing about stressing about my bald spot and I just felt so alone because I've never known anybody that went through that and I never thought that it was as common as it is I ended up going to the doctor again and letting them know like there is something going on with my scalp what can we do I need my hair to grow faster because the thing is it wasn't growing it was just it literally was skin it was skin it had no follicle it was skin and it wasn't growing and it was just falling and it was growing bigger and bigger and bigger i literally thought at one point i was gonna have like all this was gonna my hair was gonna completely fall out i'm not exaggerating i literally thought i was gonna go bald so then i ended up talking to a dermatologist so he had given me this steroid cream that just left my scalp and the rest of my hair just nasty and I didn't want to keep washing my hair because I also know that washing your hair frequently is not good for you so I didn't want to keep washing my hair every single day so I stopped using that cream and there are also like steroid shots I believe that you can um, also inject into your scalp to help the follicle grow because pretty much what alopecia is is that your own body is attacking your own follicles your hair follicles that makes them like fall off um, and it could come from stress vitamin deficiency like many different reasons um, mine from what my dermatologist said was mainly from stress so I just had to stop stressing and that was like the toughest thing to go through just because I couldn't stop stressing <laughs> I kept stressing about stressing and then stressing about my hair loss and it just kept falling off to the point where it was huge and what I did to be able to grow it back this time around was just kind of focusing on my mental health and relaxing going for walks and tr trying to eliminate the things that I could control in my life to not cause stress and that was months and months journey because barely my hair is starting to grow back if i could show you guys the little like it's not so much in the awkward phase anymore but this is it this is my hair currently um from growing back and and mind you i still have a little hairs right here that are still growing back they're like super tiny they just look like frizz at this point but my hair was falling out everywhere I'm telling you everywhere but the main thing was the big bald spot that I had at the top of my head and so I focused number one on mental health making sure that I was okay 
I'm so used to putting others first, everyone's needs first before mine, that this kind of put me in check to put my own needs first and what I needed to do for my own mental space, setting boundaries, things like that, which I can later make a video on, but I think mental health was a big, big component of it and cutting out things and people that were just toxic and not good in my life um, was a big part of it. And of course, doing things like hair masks, I, of course I still kept up with the castor oil. I have um, um, this little mix that I put of castor oil and coconut oil and different type of oils and things like that that I would put in my hair and I would do maybe once a week just kind of massage it into my scalp just kind of having the blood flow circulating in there um, so I would do that and I tried the Rogaine again it didn't work it literally was irritating my scalp my scalp became so flaky that I stop doing that method <laughs> but I was so desperate that even Rogaine was an option but it didn't work for me unfortunately but I still kept trying um, the only thing that I pretty much stuck to was my hair oil mask I tried every type of shampoo for hair growth and it didn't really work for me I tried like the vitamins the gummy vitamins it didn't I, I don't think it really worked for me, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, it didn't like progressively make my hair grow so much faster. I mean, I have been dealing with this now for over a year, so it's taken a year for my hair to grow that much because I want to say it started growing back this year, the whole last year. So I want to say like a good six, seven months, I had no hair growth like zero hair and then it wasn't until this year I want to say January February ish that I started growing a little bit and I was so happy to have just like a little growth just like a little spikiness there um, but yeah I was too embarrassed to even get my hair cut colored anything to do with my hair because everybody would ask like what's wrong I remember I did um, like this campaign shoot for um, it's uh, like a shapewear company and they had to style my hair at the shoot and I was so embarrassed for the hairstylist to see my bald spot but you know I owned it I was just like girl I'm stressed I got some alopecia I'm dealing with this shit you know <laughs> but um, what can you do what can you do? Uh, the minute I stopped caring about it, and, and this is real facts here, the minute I stopped caring about it, it started growing. Like I literally got to a point, I had to get to a point where I was just so over it, over trying to do everything to make it grow, over trying to control my hair follicle. Like I'm that controlling that I'm like, I'm trying to control my hair follicle growth. But I had to get to that point to finally like, relinquish my power over my hair and just let it be and it started growing and it's growing and it's continually growing and hopefully it will grow and my hair will be thick and supple like old times I have so little hair I mean maybe in comparison to other people this is like normal but for me I've had so much hair like so much hair um, my hair was definitely part of my identity and once it was gone a part of me was was gone with it in a really sad sense but it's growing back at the end of the day it's just hair and hair will grow back no matter what you're dealing with hair will grow back and um there are methods cosmetics ways if you know you need to have it grow faster but for me i just wanted to just go the natural route and i i didn't want to go through i mean there is like prp that you can do to help grow your hair out um where they get the plasma out of your blood and just kind of inject it into areas to help like your hair grow <laughs> and i could have done that i didn't and Right now, I, I went through an awkward phase, an awkward phase, which I will show you guys a clip of. I'm officially in an awkward stage of growing my hair out. 
you know, you kind of just, <laughs> just kind of have to accept it, you feel me? But I went through an awkward phase and my hair was just sticking up. It was just like this and it was not cute. And I had to take my passport photo that day, I remember, and I couldn't style for the life. Like I couldn't style it for the life of me. Like it was just sticking up. I put so much gel, I put everything and I'm gonna have that passport photo for like 10 years. So that sucks, but it's just a photo. Whatever. Anyways, it's growing back. Um, I do plan on just like getting some extensions putting some extensions in so I can feel a little bit normal again because I do feel like my hair is really light um, but it's all cosmetic at the end of the day the lesson that I learned through all this is stress and what you allow into your life your space is very important um, and it took it took me losing my hair to realize it so don't lose your hair, <laughs> focus on your mental health. And if you do have alopecia, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. I've gone through this now twice and I can say that it will grow back. It may seem at the time that it won't. It may seem that it's just no one is going through it. But now that I kind of have shared my story to some other friends or acquaintances or people that I know, um, I have now, I now know like maybe five or six people who have also gone through the exact same thing as me, but have not talked about it because it is embarrassing to talk about hair loss and becoming bald because you really feel like you're going bald. So I just wanted to bring a little bit of awareness that not a lot of people talk about and it is something super common, especially nowadays that people stress and um, mental health should be numero uno for everybody. So thank you guys all so much for watching this video and I will see you guys all very soon because I will be uploading regularly, I promise, once a week, at least once a week. So I will see you guys all in my next video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. The ending is so awkward always, I hate it.